Now next is lead and its alloy. So lead is a very commonly used non-ferrous metal and as a variety of industrial application means lead is a common used metal in industry and as a variety of applications. Many uses are there. So lead is produced from ore galena. So galena is the name of the ore which is available on earth and from that ore lead is extracted. Lead is a heavy metal that is silvery in color when molten. So when it is melted it is silvery in color. It is soft and malleable and has good resistant corrosion. It, since it is malleable, we can bend or we can give shape to lead and it is a good resistant corrosion. It is not corroding. It is a good insulator against nuclear radiation. In the nuclear uh, nuclear uh, industries, it is uh, used as an ins uh, insulator. It means the lead based dresses are manufactured and these dresses are worn by the people those are working in the nuclear industry. Lead is resistant to many acids like sulfuric acid and hydrochloric acid. Many acid is not corroding, mainly sulfuric acid and hydrochloric acid. It is used in carbide. Since it is not corroding in acids, car batteries it is used because car battery has got acid. In the preparation of solder, etc., preparing the solder for the lead joints, it is used. It is also used in the preparation of paints. So almost all the paints require lead and lead gives the lead is the base for any paints. Lead alloy is a babbit metal. Babel metal is an alloy of lead, tin, copper and antimony. It is soft and soft anti-friction alloy, often used as bearing. So babbit metal it is a main content is lead. This is used this is a alloy of a metal. Alloy means more either two or more than two metals are melted together and made a new metal. It is called alloy metal. So alloy metal, babbit metal is an alloy of lead. Main metal is lead, then tin, certain percent, copper and antimony. It is soft anti-friction alloy, the frictionless alloy, uh, often used as for bearing. It is used because it is a good bearing metal. Next one, is, next an alloy of lead and tin is used as soft solder for preparing a solder for a soldering joint. The alloy of lead and tin is tin is certain percent, then the lead is both mixed and soft solder to prepare. Next material zinc, another non-ferrous metal. So zinc is a commonly used metal for coating on steel to prevent corrosion. Examples are steel buckets, galvanized roofing sheets, etc. So zinc is used mainly for giving coating to the ferrous metal. So any almost any ferrous metal which is used in the open atmosphere, the lead uh, zinc coating is given to the metal, such as roofing sheets, uh, square bar, square tubes, uh, round pipes, uh, etc. Zinc is obtained from the ore calamine or brandy. So zinc is extracted from the ore, calamine, or on about these ores are available on earth. It's a melting point of 420 degrees centigrade. At 420 degrees centigrade, zinc melts. It is brittle and soft on, on eating. So actually, in a normal condition, it is brittle, but when it is heated, it becomes soft. It is also corrosion resistant. So it is not corroding any open atmosphere. That's why it is used as the coating metal for ferrous. Due to this reason, it is used for battery containers and is coated on roofing sheets, etc. Since it is not corroding in acids, it is used for the battery containers. Container battery container is made from zinc and is coated with roofing sheets because it is non-corrosion, non-corrosive metal. So, in open atmosphere, it can be used as a coating for other metals. Galvanized iron sheets are coated with zinc. Galvanized iron sheets, GI pipes, GI tubes, GI buckets, GI sheets are coated with zinc. Next, tin and its alloys. Tin is produced from cassiterite or tin stone. It is silvery white appearance and the melting point is 231 degrees centigrade. It is soft and highly corrosion resistant. So, tin is also a coating metal or it is also used as a Alloy, uh, mixing with the other metal for alloying purpose and uh, its melting point of 231 degree centigrade silvery in color and uh, it is very soft and corrosion resistant it is mainly used as a coating on steel sheets for the production of food containers it is also used with the other metals to form alloys so tin is mainly used for coating of the food containers coating of the food container container copper container or vessels, the tin coating is given because it is not harmful for health. Example, tin with the copper to form bronze, tin with the lead to form solder, tin with the copper lead antimony to form babbit metal. So tin is also used for alloying metals such as tin and copper 
which is called bronze the bronze is made from tin and copper then tin with the lead to form solder tin with the copper lead and antimony to form bibid metal copper and its alloys metals without iron ferrous are called non ferrous metals example copper aluminum zinc lead and tin so metal which doesn't contain iron it is called a non ferrous metal copper is extracted from its ore malachite which contains about 55% of copper and pyrites which contains about 32% of copper so copper extracted from two ores one is malachite which in this malachite 55% of copper is probably present and in the ore pyrites 32% of copper is present properties of the copper reddish in color copper is easily distinguishable because of its color it easily we can identify the copper material metal because of its color the structure when fractured is granular but when forged or rolled it is fibrous the structure of the copper when fractured when it is broken it is granular but when forged by heating and forging or rolled it is fibrous the structure is fibrous it is very malleable and ductile and can be used into sheets or wires so very very malleable and ductile can be used in the sheets and wires mainly used in electrical industries copper and also in uh, uh, thermal uh, in uh, industries copper is used mainly used for uh, copper as a wires copper sheets copper wires copper tubes and all it is a conductor of electricity copper is essentially used as electrical cables and parts of electrical apparatus which conduct electric current almost all the almost all the heating uh, uh, utensils uh, where the coil is there that coil is made from copper because the copper is the one of the best conductor of electricity heat and electricity that's why it is mainly used for the coils and all almost whichever uh, uh, whichever apparatus is there electrical apparatus is there when which coil is there definitely the coil is made from copper copper is a good conductor of heat and also highly resistant to corrosion for this reason it is used for boiler fire boxes water heating apparatus water pipes and vessels in brewery and chemical plants also used for making soldering iron so copper is a good conductor of heat it is the best conductor of heat so that it is used for boilers then water heating apparatus geysers and all water pipes and vessels in brewery and chemical plants also used for making soldering iron the melting temperature of copper is 1083 degree centigrade the tensile strength of copper can be increased by hammering or rolling its alloys let us see alloys of the copper brass it is an alloy of copper and zinc brass is not available brass ore is not available in earth brass is a alloy metal made from copper and zinc for a certain type of brass a small quantities of tin and lead are all added little percent of tin and lead also added the color of brass depends on the percentage of the alloying elements the color of the brass varying depend over the how much percent of alloy elements are used the color is yellowish or light yellow or nearly white it can be easily machined brass is also corrosion resistant so this also corrosion resistant and it is easily machinable brass is widely used for making motor car radiator core radiator core and water taps etc it is also used in gas welding for hard soldering brazing the melting point of brass ranges from 880 to 930 degrees centigrade so it is widely used in car radiator core and core boxes and water taps so brass water taps are available this is the main use of the brass and it is also used for hard so it is also manufacturing hard soldering the melting point is ranging from 880 to 930 degrees centigrade depend upon the percentage of copper present in that brass of different composition are made for various applications the following table on gives the common use of brass in brass alloy comp- composition and their application next bronze bronze is also not available the bronze ore is not available on earth so it is also alloy metal bronze is basically an alloy of copper and tin sometimes zinc is also added for achieving certain special properties its color ranges from red to yellow so bronze depend upon the percentage of copper present in that the color will vary from red to yellow the melting point of bronze is about 1005 degree centigrade because the melting point of copper is 1080 degree centigrade and since little percent of tin is added so that the melting point is gradually more it is harder than brass it can be easily machined with sharp tools so compared to brass this is hard metal and it can be easily machined with sharp tools the chip produced is granular 
while machining the chips which is produced in the granular special bronze alloys are used for brazing rods bronze of different compositions are available for various applications bronze alloys are used for brazing rods for brazing procedure brazing joining the metal with the brazing process the brazing rods are made from bronze and bronze of different composition are available for various application also so thank you students